guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Riders. We're back here in Motor City for the return of the 2022 Detroit Auto Show. Of course, walking around, we had to stop at the Chevrolet booth because they're doing some big things and it's right here next to me. This is it. This is the first ever 2023 Chevrolet Silverado ZR2. But guess what? It's not just a regular ZR2. If you could even say that, it's a ZR2 Bison. But before we get into this full-on, full-size truck that's ready for supreme extreme off-roading, let's talk about what's going on here. Chevrolet, they're going through their lineup like gangbusters. Not only working on getting things more performance oriented underneath the hood and suspension wise, but also bringing new things to the interior. Not only when it comes to materials, but also technology. We've already brought you the ZR2, the Silverado ZR2, that amazing trip with Chevrolet. You got to see what that truck was all about. This Bison takes it to another level. So what I wanna find out is, has Chevrolet done enough with AEV and the Silverado to make this the extreme supreme one that you should be buying over a Tundra TRD Pro. Let's go ahead, let's dive in and find out. Right off the bat, the color. This white is just working perfectly underneath the lights, really has a presence on the show floor. Now, as we come across the front, you get lots of great lighting. You're gonna have your full LED headlights, that redesign LED daytime running lamp. I even love the way they did the exterior lighting in the center, obviously with the extra width, this is DOT required. The great news is this is turnkey rolling out of the factory just like this. So you could have it all under warranty, good to go, just like what you're seeing here. Now on the lower portion from AEV, where we start is stamp steel bumpers. These things are super rugged. You're gonna have your LED headlights, of course, and you can see where they've actually placed the tow hook locations. This actually is gonna help you when you're getting in that deep, deep mud, and maybe you need to get a Tundra you know, unstuck, you'll have that higher location for that. Speaking of higher, this truck does sit higher. We're talking about 11.2 inches of ground clearance. We got five, count them, five skid plates, front to rear, and then as we come across the front portion, I love what they've done. We showed it to you on the ZR2, but on this Bison, the flow tie really works well. Remember, this was something that first appeared on the Chevrolet Camaro Z28 back in 2014, but they hollowed out the bow tie. Love the way they brought the red trim, full functionality. If you're going off-roading, you gotta have one of these. No, not just a bison, a forward-facing camera. Very important when you're rock crawling, when you're going through the thick of it, you do have a washer to keep it clean, full functional, love the ZR2 badge, of course, and then that stamp steel bumper, I'm telling you, these things front and rear, very rugged, and you could actually see some of that protection underneath the belly of this beast. Now, as we rise all the way up, and it's, it's almost like we need an elevator, you'll see that massive gloss black cow hood, looking great, looking tough, nice muscular body lines, and now we're gonna coast around the side. I'm gonna jump in here and get a little closer. So as we come around the bend, what are we working with? Wheel and tire setup. Check out these Goodyear Wrangler off-road tires. Of course, you're gonna get that beefy Durawall protection on the sidewall, and then you'll notice these are unique wheels to the Bison, gloss black, all the way around the AEV badge in the center. These are actually, like I said, done from the factory. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, what's the size of this? You're looking at 275 on the width, 70 series sidewall, 35 inch tires. And then you'll notice all the suspension bits deep down inside the upper control arm springs. We're talking about extra height. So you're getting extra height, extra approach angle. So well over 30, 32 degrees of approach angle. We'll talk about departure when we get to the back. I love the way the same texture comes into that fender flare all the way around. And then what's awesome is the badging, ZR2. And if you notice on the bulge in that hood, 6.2 liters. We got that naturally aspirated 6.2 liter V8 where the Toyota Tundra is using turbocharged hybrid power we have that naturally aspirated V8 power. Working our way towards the rear, you're gonna notice on the side, you do of course have the required 
rock sliders. These are ultra important and ultra specific to the bison. Color matched on the mirror caps, 360 degree cameras. I even like the way they did the black door handles. Really balances out the colors from front to rear. Speaking of rear, we're gonna keep working our way towards the back. Look how beefy those freaking things are. Those rock sliders are freaking nuts. Suspension, what do we got? We got the Multimatic dual spool valve technology. You see the bright gold in there? That lets you know that you have that Multimatic suspension fine tuned for this Bison. And then as we swing around back, our Bison badge and coming around back, I love what they did here. Flat satin black with the black bow tie, really looking clean. And then of course the AEV badge and then working our way down, you still get your same towing capability, even with the off-roading. Love the way you got that hooked up down here, those massive tow hook locations. And then you do have, of course, that multifunctional tailgate. Nice, slow release, soft release, wide open with the bed liner. On the passenger side, of course, you're gonna have your full power hookup. That's a nice touch there. And then as I swing it around, what we're gonna do is we're gonna now show you the step action. So you have that multi-function step system with the handle. Take that Toyota Tundra. I don't think your Tundra could do that. Full LED lighting and a power sliding rear glass window. But you know what? We talked about a V8. Let's see if we could go find one under the hood in this Bison. Hood is popped and like I said, compared to the Toyota Tundra, TRD Pro, you can't get a V8 anymore. But in this Bison, there she is. That's that 6.2 liter, naturally aspirated V8, pumping out 420 horsepower. Of course, you're gonna have it made it to that 10 speed automatic transmission. You got that locking front and rear differentials. And of course, with the suspension lift, the Multimatic suspension and everything else, you have one supreme off-road machine. But I know you wanna hear this fire up. I would love to fire it up right here in the Detroit Auto Show. Can't do that, but what I can do is show you the interior. So let's go ahead, let's see what's happening in this Silverado ZR2 Bison. All right guys, come on in to this Bison. First time ever on a Silverado platform. This thing is mean and lean, but definitely a muscle machine. I know you're saying to yourself, well Joe, I want one of these. When can I get one? So these will actually be available fall of 2022. So that's this year. It's going to be a 2023 model year vehicle. And I know now you're saying, well, Joe, what about price? I know how much the TRD Pro is. I watched all your videos. How much is this one? MSRP, you're looking right around $78,000. Let's see what you get for the money. To the door panels. Love the new style and design. That light gray with the neon stitching and all the wonderful trim, the perforated leather look. It's classy and it looks like it belongs in this trunk since day one. We got the Bose sound system. There's more of that stitching and then a large enough door pocket to where you could get a Bison 12 inch sub and two bottles of Bison milk to wash it down. Going from the door panel to the dash, same thing. Great materials, nice finishes. Even up on the dash, we have that 13.4 inch infotainment system. I can't show it to you because we're at the show, but you know what? I will put the link to the Silverado ZR2 that we did where you could show that. Love all the toggle switches. That's where you're gonna lock your diffs. Hill descent control. Down below, we got ventilated seats, heated seats, even your dual climate control. And then this is gonna control that 10 speed automatic, lots of storage for off-road Twinkies, two cup holders. This is the material I like. Really nice and soft, grippy. You got wireless charging. Open this bad boy up, look at this. You actually can have a bison burger collection in here. 10 bison burgers and a couple bottles of Heinz 57 sauce. I love the way there's a home power source, USB-C and a USB-A, and then of course the seats. AEV, nice embroidery, love the texture design, great bolstering, and then we got power seats for the passenger and the driver, and guess what? We even have our sunroof capability. Cameras out the yin yang. Watch the ZR2 video at the end of this one. Coming over the business end, I wanna show you behind the wheel of this Bison. All right guys, we're in the Bison. We're gonna grab this bull by the horns. You'll notice you have a nice ZR2 badge right on that sill right there. That's gonna greet you, let you know that you did it right. You also are gonna have your all weather floor mats. 
and of course your power seat controls. Seats are great, there's tons of room in here. I'm six feet tall, I could be eight feet tall and I'd still feel good in here. Steering wheel, nice leather, you got the blacked out bow tie, flat black on the buttons and of course the paddles on the back of the steering wheel to go up and down that 10 speed automatic. But you know what? Yes, we got a digital dash, I can't turn it on. We're at the auto show, watch the ZR2 video at the end of this one. Let's get in the back seat and wrap it up from Detroit. All right guys, back seat time and this is where you get to share that off-roading fun with your friends, bring them through, show them just how capable this machine is. Backs of the seats, that nice soft material, you got large enough pockets, you could easily put, I would say a couple buffalo horns in here. You know those kind of, those horn hats that Vikings used to wear? You could put a couple of those in there. Two cup holders, just heated seats. No ventilated seats, that's a Zonk, USB-C, USB-A, and you do have your AC vents. I feel great back here. Lots of room, I would like a sunroof though. I would like a panoramic sunroof. Pull this down, super soft, two massive cup holders. And then my favorite part is watch this. If you ever have to hide something from somebody, we have that very smartly engineered storage in the backs of the seats. Just don't hide too many things because secrets don't make friends. But we're here at the auto show. I'm gonna slide on out. Ah, made it out in one piece. I got the microphone here. I'm gonna put that in my pocket. We're gonna walk to the front and wrap this one up. So let me know what you think. Has Chevrolet done the business with this ZR2 Bison, the first one ever? Put your comment in that comment section, but if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Raiders Rides family. We definitely gotta throw a huge thank you to the hardworking, intensifying Lori, working that camera like a champ. Show us some love in that comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.